Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and uh, let me show you how to install permanent themes. You can get pretty much permanent themes anywhere. It's a little Google search and you should be able to find the one you're looking for. I was looking for Red Dead Redemption 2 and I found it within two minutes. Uh, I will leave a link in the description for this one. Uh, you can go ahead and download it. Uh, if you do hit download, um, you may not get the download right away. It does pop up with ads. Sometimes it asks you to do silly stuff and just close it out and then click on it again and eventually it will start downloading um, and once you do you can see I downloaded three times so I was just testing to see if it would uh, remember that I was on it but uh, yeah it doesn't matter it's, each time you download it it's gonna be two or three two or three ads and then you'll be able to actually hit the download button but once you do get there is two files we'll need both of them um, I already have a copied over let me just close that out my computer's been acting up here. Um, I do need a cleaner. I just haven't had a chance to. But you can see that I copied it over to my USB uh, or my external hard drive there for my PlayStation. So let's just jump over to the PlayStation. We'll get the jailbreak done. And then uh, we can go ahead and install these packages. One package is the theme and then one is the patch. But uh, yeah, let's... Uh... Okay, so now that we're over to the PS4, uh, we can go ahead and launch our jailbreak. Let's go over to settings first. I will show you that I do not have debug settings. And we'll go up to our network and just enable that. Now there's multiple hosts that you can use. I'm going to be using Dark 5's uh, version 1 host. It is the, uh, the quickest for me, I find, and that's what I enjoy using. Um, but yeah, let's just clear everything, do our usual few little steps here. And just delete everything. We'll get everything all cleaned up for... Uh, cache to, to get installed. So we'll go to bookmarks. I'm going to go down. It's uh, right here. It's automatic version 1. Um, I was previously on it so it's probably not going to install the cache. So we'll just close the browser and reopen it and it should start installing that cache. And there we go. Okay. So we can go ahead and disconnect from the internet now. Go over to our settings network and we'll launch that connect to the internet go ahead and launch our browser we'll give it a few minutes here shouldn't take too long okay so there's one and there's two And there's three. And there's four. And there's five. Okay, there's six. It's usually not this high. I'm surprised we're even going up this high, but uh, give it a few more tries. We should get it. There's seven. And there we go. We're going in now. Just give it a few moments. It is an auto jailbreak, so we don't need to worry about anything anymore. We'll just let it go, and it should just jailbreak everything on its own. Okay, and there we go. We're just waiting now. It could take up to <coughs> 30 seconds or so, but it shouldn't take that long. There we go. Loading Gold 10 1.1. Waiting for clients. Launch and payload. And Gold 10 1.1 loaded. Okay, so we can go ahead and hit the PlayStation button. Now, if we go over to settings. Scroll down, you can see that we do have the debug settings. So you can go ahead now and plug in your drive, your USB drive or your external hard drive, whatever you use. I choose not to plug it in until I actually get the jailbreak done, just in case it does crash. Uh, just the hard drive crash, and I just don't like the sound of it. So I just leave it unplugged until I actually get the jailbreak done. So we can go into games now, and we'll go into package installer. 
We have our two packages here. We're going to go with the, the first one. Okay, and then once that's done, it's installed. We'll go ahead and install the second one. And we're just going to say yes to it. We want to overwrite it. Okay, and that's installed. We can back out now. Um, yeah, so we can back out right now. Let's, okay, and uh, so we should be able to just go into settings. And if we go to themes, we should be able to select a theme. If we go to Red Dead, and then we hit apply. We give it a few moments. You can see that it was locked, but it should still go in and we should be able to use it. Okay, and so there's our Red Dead theme. So I want to just show you that it is permanent and that it does stay. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and uh, hit power. Go to power options. And we're going to fully turn off the PS4. We'll give it a few moments here. I'll let you know when it's uh, turned off and then we'll go ahead and turn it back on. Shouldn't take too long to, to shut down, but... Uh, Hopefully it uh, it goes pretty quick here. Okay, so my light just turned off there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the power button on the on the PS4, and we'll give it a couple of seconds here just to get booted up. And once we get in, we should have the uh, the Red Dead theme. Okay, we're starting to load now. Okay, we can go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. Go ahead and log in with Echo Stretch. And there you go, we do have the, uh, the theme and it's permanent. So that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, go ahead and hit like. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.